Welcome to my channel Fee Concepts CHM. In this video, we are going to learn about the experiment on refractive index of liquid using total internal reflection. Here, we will see about the aim, apparatus, theory, diagram, formula, procedure, observations that is the actual readings that were taken will be seen and result. A. To determine the refractive index of the given liquid by total internal reflection. Apparatus Container, laser, vernier calipers, the given liquid, here we will, be, we will be using water and graph paper. Theory, refractive index. In optics, the refractive index of a material is a dimensionless number that describes how light propagates through that medium. It is defined as n is equal to c by v where c is equal to speed of light in vacuum, v is the velocity of light in medium. The refractive index of water is 1.33. That means the light travels 1.33 times faster in vacuum than it does in water. Refraction of light ray. Re refractive index determines how much light is bent or refracted when entering a material. The Snell's law is given as n1 sin theta1 is equal to n2 into sin theta2 where theta1 and theta2 are the angle of incidence and angle of refraction respectively of a ray crossing the interface between two media with refractive indices n1 and n2. Refractive indices also determine the amount of light that is reflected when reaching the interface as well as the critical angle for total internal reflection. Critical angle is the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree. In this experiment, we will incident the laser beam into water. So this, this medium is water and this is air. The beam will be reflected. So this beam which is reflected is then refracted into air. As the angle of incidence will change, the angle of refraction is also changing. So the bending, you can see the bending is changing. When we start from here, the, the this kind of uh, refraction we can see when the angle of incidence changes for this ray of light, the ray that is refracted, it bends more. For this, it bends more. So, the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees, that is called as a critical angle. When the refracted ray exceeds 90 degree, then there is no refraction anymore. So that is the case for this. So there is no refraction. Instead, the light is reflected back into the same medium it started from. And this phenomenon is known as total internal reflection.
So total internal reflection is a phenomenon which occurs when a propagated wave strikes a medium boundary at an angle larger than a particular critical angle with respect to the normal to the surface. Note that this only happens for light traveling from a denser medium, for example, water to a lighter medium that can be air. The critical angle theta c is the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. So for these two rays, this ray and for this ray, the angle of incidence is greater than theta c, the critical angle and hence the ray is completely reflected. Beyond the critical angle, 100% of the incident light is reflected back into the same medium. The refractive index depends on the concentration of liquid. If the concentration increases, then the refractive index increases. This diagram shows that what we are going to see in this experiment. This is the laser pointer and uh, it will direct the ray of light into water. This is water and this is air. This is the height of or the depth of the water in the container small h. So when this light falls then it is reflected back. Here uh, we can say the angle of incidence with the normal is less than the critical angle. So the ray of light is refracted out into the air. Here the, we can say that the angle of incidence is equal to or greater than the critical angle. So the ray of light is internally reflected. Same thing happens on this side also. And what we get is a circle of light. Here you get a dark circle having this much diameter. So here there is not much illumination. But outside the circle there is illumination because of this Total, total internal uh, reflected light. So this uh, ring or this circle has a diameter of D from this side to this. This is the construction. We have a container here. At the bottom of the container, we can stick a graph paper. We can put water into this container and on top of that, we can fix the laser pointer at a proper height. Formula, critical angle theta c is given as tan inverse d by 4 h where D is the diameter of the dark circle, H is the depth of the liquid. Then we find refractive index mu that is 1 upon sine theta c. Procedure, arrange the apparatus as it is shown in the diagram. Height H of the liquid is determined by using vernier calipers. The radius R of the dark circle is red along the two directions. It is red on the graph paper and the mean radius is determined and then we can calculate the diameter or we can directly measure the diameter of the ring on the graph paper. Repeat the above two steps for different liquid heights. Observations. 
these are the reading we change the depth of the water as 0.84 0.91 1.03 and so on and for each depth we measure the diameter of the dark ring as 3.7 3.9 4.5 that way the depth is measured using the vernier calipers diameter we measure on the graph paper then calculate d upon 4h and then the critical angle that is tan inverse d by 4h and finally the refractive index which is 1 upon sin theta c so we can see that here we are getting the values the refractive index of water in the range of 1.3 result we can write down finally the refractive index of the liquid for water the refractive index will come as 1.33 these are some of the e resources that you can refer thank you for watching this video